Hi there! In this first section, we're going to create the project and we're going to add the models needed for our application. We will then connect our project to the database and this way we will have the fundamental setup to continue to build our project. So, firstly we need to create a new project and we need to find here a template for an MVC application. Just type here MVC and just click on this one. Go next. Uh, we can name our project here and name it just auctions. Go to the next page. And here we need to make the authentication type to individual accounts so that we have these users already enabled in our uh, project when it loads. This way we have the user's functionality already uh, being taken care of. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go to the models and start adding classes or models to, uh, for our models needed for the project. Let me just name the first model. The first model is going to be the main one, which is the listing. So for each listing that our application will have. And I'm going to give it a public int ID property. And then for each listing, we're going to need a title to be a string. And of course, uh, we need a description for each listing. Uh, we're going to need a double property for the price of the listing that we will put there. Here, we need a string property for image path. So basically, when an image will be uploaded for a listing, it will be stored inside the folder in our project. And for us to call the image of a specific listing, we will use then the path where the image is stored, but you will see it later on how this all works. Then we're gonna need the is sold of bool property because uh, this way we will specify if a listing is already sold or not, and we will not display the sold listings in the first page. And also some other functionalities will depend of if a listing is sold or not. Then we're going to connect, we need to connect each listing to the uh, user and we'll need an identity user ID, which is the property of type string. Firstly, and we need here to specify the object we'll connect the listing to, the model, which is an identity user and we'll name it user. So we'll make them nullable. And we need to specify here the foreign key for the user, which will be this identity user ID. So this identity user were already installed when we made the individual accounts to uh, when we created a project. And basically each listing will be created by specific users. So that's why uh, we need these two properties here. And on top, we're going to make this as required. So basically what this does is whenever a user is deleted, for example, uh, we won't be able to see the listing anymore because that's uh, how it would make sense. So if a user is not uh, anymore in my application, we won't see the listings as well. The listings will be deleted from the database. And in the end, we're going to need to connect the listings. So one listing will have multiple bits made to it. And we will create this, uh, this model now, a bit later. And also each, uh, each listing will have multiple comments to it. And we'll cre create the comments model also uh, next. 
and this is the way we store them when we uh, write this type of models when they are uh, one to many relationship models. So let me create the next model that we need. The bid.cs model. Firstly, I'm going to need an int ID property. And then a double property for the price. You can just copy this because each bid has also need to be connected to a user who made the bid. And if the user is no longer there, the bid will be created. So if the user is deleted, the bid will be deleted. And we will also need to connect each bit to a listing. So firstly, we need a uh, listing ID property and then a listing property. Just calling it listing. We don't need to make both of them as nullable. And here we specify the foreign key, which is listing ID. Let me just create the next model that we need, which is going to be the comment.cs, the comment model. Okay, so as usual, we need an int ID property. And then we need a string property for the content of the comment. And I'm just going to copy this again, this identity user ID and the user, the identity user property. So just like by on the bits, I'm actually going to copy this from the bit model because just like with bits, we connect the comment with the user and with the listing. So they have to be connected to a, to user and the listing and just copy that down. And that now what we're going to need to do is go to the context, which was already created by default. When we created the project, then we need to specify the dbset instances for each model that we created. So a dbset listing, which are named listings. And we're going to do the same thing for all the three models that we created. So DB set bid, I'm naming it bids. And the DB set for the comment. I'll name it comments. So now uh, when we go to app settings.json, we have a, a default database connection there, but we're gonna need to create a new database actually and go here and create a new database. Let me just open SQL Server Management Studio to get this uh, server name. Okay, let me just copy this. I'm just going to paste it here and give a name to the database like auctions data or something. And if we click here on properties, here we have a connection string in this properties window, which I'm just going to copy and put it here in the app settings.json file. 
just pasting it there i'm just gonna add another thing here so i set the encryption to false because we don't have a password set to access the database basically and here we have created our database and we have stored the address in appsettings.json now if we go to program.cs here we see that the service is already add uh, is already added here so the service for the uh, for the context and which also connects it the context with the connection string as you can see this here and yes what we need to do is just go to package manager console and add the migrations for the models that we created okay so just add migration and here i'm just giving a name to the migration okay i think we've done a mistake in app settings.json so in app settings.json i think we have we're missing a comma or something there Okay, so uh, we didn't close this bracket here. This was the problem. So I'm just gonna need to add the migration again. And it is successful. And just gonna update the database now. So that was it for this section. We now have a base set up and in the next videos we will start to create each page of our application with their specific functions.